Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to um, talk about today what is happening. So I've just uploaded my second video and it just went live right now, I think. I haven't even actually, it just went up now, I can see. So you guys can go check that out. It's about um, my bullet journaling and setting up my bullet journal for my small business for the new year. So for those of you who don't know, I actually, I'm a, I, I do knitting. I don't, I don't know what to call myself. Like I design knitwear patterns and I knit and I sell my knitwear and stuff. So one of my goals in, if you watch that video, one of my goals, you'll see that I wanted to create more knitwear and I also wanted to create more video content for you guys for the new year. Um, so I've done a bit, I've, I've done a few things on Instagram stories. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please do. Sometimes I'll post stories in there. I'll do like, I think yesterday I did a yarn haul. Yeah, so that's my goal for this new year. So it's currently the first week of the new year and I am currently working on this piece. Well, I'm not working on it, I'm actually done. So I worked, I finished the sample for this piece just past the new year. And then I did all the grading for it. I finished my pattern, I checked it all. And then I had a thought and that thought was that I actually wanted to redo this collar part here. I don't know if you guys can sort of see, I've got the collar, so it's like a ribbing, but I think I had another idea for it. What I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to undo this collar and rework it up. So I'm going to go do that now. I'm gonna change and then do that here. So. All right, I'm back. So I've taken off the piece now and I'm not gonna unravel this part. I think get to doing that. I might actually change the angle here. So I haven't checked my emails this morning, so I'm gonna quickly check my emails this morning and then I'll get onto this. So I'm smiling stupidly at the camera because I like I got I made another sale here on my Etsy. It looks like another pattern, and that makes me really really happy. Uh, all right, so I've done that now. Now I'm going to start on picking or unraveling this collar. Now I'm just gonna find where I started. I weaved this in so like seamlessly that. Cannot possibly find it. So I guess I wanted to um, talk about, I guess, who I am and what I do and what I'm about. So I've been knitting for about 10 years, on and off now, maybe a bit longer than that. And by on and off, what I mean is that I used to um, pick up the knitting needles when it was winter. So every year I'd pick up knitting needles when it was winter. I'd make something, either a scarf or a hat or whatever. I'd just look at patterns that I wish I could make. And, um, and then every summer I would obviously put my knitting needles down because it used to get so hot here. Like the Australian summer gets really, really warm and so I just could not even have like yarn sitting on my lap or anything. It was just way, way too warm. So when I'm making my patterns and stuff, I'm very aware of where my customer base is. So right now here it's summer. So this piece is a summer garment piece. It's made of cotton. But I know that around the other side of the world, it's currently winter and it's very cold. And so... I'm very aware that I need to, I want to make pieces that appeal to them, but also appeal to um, my, my customers here. And so that's sort of what goes through my mind and that's sort of what I've been trying to plan out as well. Oh, I think I found the, no, uh, I haven't found the ends where I've weaved in. Uh, 
I don't want to cut this, but I might have to. I know that a lot of the world is back in lockdown as well. Yeah, I've weaved this in so well that I just cannot find the end piece of it. I'm trying to remember if I weaved it into like along the side here or along like up here. I feel like it was up here, but then I kind of remember weaving on the side, but I don't know if that was for like somewhere else. So I'm also a self-taught knitter. I taught myself to knit. Um, mostly YouTube and blogs and all that stuff so I learnt everything online like I didn't go to school for anything I learnt oh I found it yeah what was I talking about yeah I didn't so I didn't go to school for anything fashion design related everything I learnt I learnt on YouTube internet self-taught and I think that's sort of like the best way to learn something is like you know you're passionate about it if you teach yourself to do it because that's time that you're putting into it so like I said before I didn't go to school for anything I actually went to school for film and television production because oh okay give me one second actually I want to show you guys a neat little trick it's not really a trick this is something I learned on YouTube speaking of so because I'm unraveling this now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this this is how I wind up my yarn. Mm. Yeah, this is how I wind up my yarn. I was gonna say not anymore, but um, I actually don't even have a yarn winding device. So all I do is I get like toilet paper roll with my the end of my yarn. All I do is I pop it in into there, in the middle, and then I just start winding just like that it's like nothing fancy and I just keep pulling up here and then winding so it is quite arduous I probably should get a yarn winder considering how much I frog but I do not have one I did have one actually someone did give me one but I lost it I, when I moved house I lost it somewhere so I'm actually really unsure about where that has gone and that would be very useful right now to be honest so what was I saying before this? Yeah, so I actually studied um, film and TV production, which is nothing to do with any type of design or sewing or knitting or anything. But I've always been one of those people that loves like crafts and all. Like I remember in school, one of the first like I guess crafts I learned was cross stitching, which is like so easy and it's such a nice like task to do I remember we used to like sit in school and just it was the best class because you'd have like two periods of textile class and all you did was sit there cross stitching and you could just sit and talk I think that's why I liked it, is that it was a class you could sit and talk and you couldn't really get in trouble because like you were still doing the work and stuff I think I did really well in that class because I remember always finishing first and things and the teacher would like liked me and I was like well uh, but I never wanted to pursue it at all the thing I did want to pursue was working in film and tv so I don't know I guess maybe like YouTube is sort of that has become this happy medium where I can do my knitting brand but also do like film and tv production in a way like you know video things I I think like I really really enjoyed it I always wanted to work in film and TV like it was just it was what I wanted to do I always imagine myself being on set running around and seeing how movies are made or TV shows like it did not matter to me but the industry here is just so small it's such a tough industry it's a very male dominant industry so it's all just very yeah the odds were not in my favor for that but then I think I realized it was just a combination of a lot of things like like the the technical side of the film and tv production was yeah I don't think it was what I really wanted to do I think secretly like my entire life I think I just always actually wanted to be an actor and I I always wanted to you know be on the film set but I think I always wanted to be in front of the camera and I remember when I was in my film and tv production classes I remember just thinking like god I'd love to be in front of the camera but I can't because everyone would laugh at me plus you know I didn't take drama in high school either and I really really wanted to so it was a combination of not having people 
believe that I could do it. But on top of that, I didn't really tell anyone because I wasn't brave enough, I guess. And also on top of that, I, you know, representation in media for Asians is just so low. And obviously the last few, only in the last few years has it been brought up and then something's been done about it. But even still, it's still quite a there's still a long way to go with it so as i'm actually i should probably say as i'm winding here you guys probably see i've got it's sort of like slightly slanty in some parts um i don't know if i learned that from youtube or if i was just staring at a ball of yarn and was like oh that's a cool nifty way so when i wind it i kind of make sure that's i kind of do angled like that um just get this hold on this has gotten stuck oh that's where I've weaved it in you can see oh you probably can't see the other part where I've yeah um yeah at an angle like that and then you sort of do a few just like around and then you angle it the other way but again it doesn't have to be but I like it like that because it makes it a lot neater all right so I'm going to take this off now and then I'm going to start and I'm going to rework this up I think so now that's what I've got and it kind of looks like a little ball of yarn done up I guess and I'm gonna and that's the middle part that you can use to pull from the middle that's why you use the toilet roll so i might actually i'm going to change you guys back to where you were so now i am going to pick up the collar again and work it up again so i've actually already got my needles here done up so these are the knitters pride needles um i've got it over there i'll go and grab it so this is what i use is knitter's pride and it is so good i've never i only got this last year and that's let me show you guys that's the knitter's pride um needle set interchangeable needle set and i love it so much it's so good they use ethically sourced wood and this is like vegan leather and it's like really nifty it's got like this pocket for it to hold like your cables and stuff and then it sort of uh i don't use this often so it sort of like folds like that or something i don't actually know I don't use it but the idea I think is you can put your patterns here and all that but I like I like that it just keeps all of my needles in there and I've never had like a set like this before and I love it so much it was a gift for my birthday I think one of the something like that um yeah so I love that so much and yeah so this is the one I've got now I've got my got my needles on here and my cable I probably usually wouldn't use this cable it's I've lost my other one I've got a shorter one there's one that's short a bit smaller than this size like up to there and I don't know where it is and it makes me so frustrated because I look after like this in particular I look after so well and I know that yeah, I don't know it's somewhere it is somewhere and I don't know where it is so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to oh so you start playing here is I'm going to bring up my pattern that I've got here so I'm currently so like I said earlier I've written up the pattern for this I graded it I did the yardage I did everything for it and then I had a thought and now I have to try that thought but so right now I've got I'll show you guys on my laptop so that's the pattern I've got written up on this side and this is just my notes I've got open that I'm going to use to basically um rewrite the pattern just so i don't disturb the other patterns so i've got it all written down here and i just have to i'm just going to cross reference it with the pattern i've already written up because it's not too different to it it's just slightly different in terms of i guess just pattern i'm just going to go ahead and pick up these stitches and then 
get on the pattern and then it should all be good. So I've got that ball of yarn here. figured it out I had to like stop recording because it was taking so long to figure out how to do it but I think I've got it now so now I'm going to start working it I guess and see how I go I'm trying to remember what I was talking about just before this yeah check my notes here maybe I've got it written down oh okay so I think I was talking about acting just before yeah so acting for me is what I wanted to do and um yeah I guess it was just the whole representation thing and all that stuff so it wasn't until I was like an adult that I decided like okay, I want to be an actor and I took charge and I went to my first acting class and I just remember being so scared and thinking like, oh, this is what I want to do. But, and I remember going there and no one judged me. No one said anything. The teacher was amazing. And it was actually really fun. And I'm like, yep, this is it. I found it. So I guess for me, my end goal in life or in my career is, is acting, is to be an actor. And I guess, you, yeah, like, like I said before, YouTube's that, in between I guess where I can do stuff in front of the camera and I can also do this knitting stuff which is like a passion of mine but also I can do I can utilize my film and TV um, I guess the background I'm gonna say that even though I did study film and TV it was it's changed so much since I studied it like I had to sort of relearn everything again, I guess, because I use, in school we use like full camcorders because back then it wasn't like you could grab a DSLR and shoot, it was like you had to use camera cameras and now it's just everything's a camera, like your phone's a camera and all that stuff, so it's just like the, the landscape of it's changed so much. So I sort of had to relearn everything myself, which I did on YouTube. So I guess YouTube is like this place where I just found myself, especially in the last year because of COVID, I found myself more and more and then I decided last year that I would just, I would just make this my full-time job or like I guess my day job to acting. I, I realised like I just could not really deal with working in retail anymore. I think that was such a big thing, it's just I was just so sick of retail and so sick of working just you know odd jobs and workplaces are just it, it wasn't for me like working that nine to five thing just isn't for me and following these arbitrary rules and all that stuff and I really enjoy working from home and I wanted to work for myself and I also wanted to work a job where I'd be able to just go and audition whenever I needed to as well like I wanted I wanted it to be flexible so I guess working for myself is one of, it was like the best way to do that. But at the same time, it's also very scary. Like I don't know, I think like everyone going into these things, I just don't know what you're doing. And yeah, it's, it's a scary but like exciting move, I guess. So yeah, I look forward to sort of seeing where this goes and how this all works out. Alright, so I think I'm just going to keep working on this for, this will take me like a couple of hours to do and then I'm going to work on it and I'll come back and then see how we're doing. So what time is it? It's 11 o'clock now. So I'll jump back on and see how I'm, I guess, tracking and then I'll show you guys, I guess, the final product and then, yeah, alright. Hey guys, so I'm back now and I've just finished the collar up um, and I've worked it up and now that's it and I think I like this so much better than what I had before. Something that suits the overall um, I think design of this piece a bit more and yeah, I'm, I'm really quite happy with it. So now I just have to, um, now I have to work up the... Let me just pop this down here. You can see I'm really impatient here. I haven't even seamed it. I just I just finished it and I've tried it on now. 
So uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Yeah, now I just have to finish grading, writing up the numbers again and reworking the pattern for that part and then making sure that all works. After that's done, I'll send it off to my tech editor, get it checked and then get it out for test uh, knitting. So if you guys are interested, keep your eye out. I'll usually post up something on Instagram to test knit. So yeah, so that's that's it. I hope you guys um, liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.